go ahead and go to Google and type GitHub. Click on the first search results for the GitHub homepage. Now here, go ahead and click on the sign up and register for a new account. Sign in into your account and just leave it there. Now go back to Google and type hugging face. Go to the first search result, huggingface.co. Now go ahead and also register for a new Hugging Face account. Fill out the basics and that's that. Now go back to Google and type in Git for a Windows. Go to the first link on the search results. And here, click the download button. Go ahead and open the file that you just downloaded and finish the installation. Now on the final screen, check the launch git bash checkbox and click finish. You're going to see this command line interface. We're going to use it later, so just keep it open for now. Now go back to Google and we're going to download and install Python. So type Python download. Go to download Python. And on this page, click on the download Python 3.11. You might have a greater version out by now. Go ahead and get latest and just make sure you have Python installed on your system. Now go back to the bash window we opened earlier and cd to the C drive. Then use the mkdir command to create a folder AI and then cd into that folder. So now we are in C slash AI folder. Go back to Google and type GitHub automatic 1111 stable diffusion now go ahead and go to the first search result now the link for this is also in the description of this video okay so click on the green code button and here where you have this link click on the copy button to the right here now go back to our bash window and type git space clone not clown clone this will copy stable diffusion repository to your local hard drive just wait for it to finish and we're done now go back to google and start typing hugging face stable diffusion 1.4 type space original now go ahead and go to the first search result for this okay on this page you'll see stable diffusion version 1.4 original scroll down here where it says download the weights and click on the first file sdv14.ckpt which is a checkpoint this file is huge so it's going to take a while to download as it's being downloaded go ahead and open a new tab type github 10 cent arc space gfb gan so go ahead and go to the first search result now the link is also in the description of this video so on this page go ahead and scroll down and here where it says v1.4 model go ahead and click on this link so this is the pth file here and remember we also download the checkpoint file now go ahead and open your file explorer and go to your c drive and find the AI folder. Go into AI folder and go into Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. So go ahead and drag the PTH file into your CAI Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. Now on this list, also find Models folder. Now double click on the Models folder. Go to Stable Diffusion. You'll see this file put Stable Diffusion checkpoint here. And that's what we're going to do. So go ahead and drag and drop this checkpoint file into this folder. Now go back to CAI, Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. And here at the bottom of the list, find web UI user dot batch file. Go ahead and double click on this file to launch Stable Diffusion installer script. And this will open a new command line window and Stable Diffusion installation will start. It might take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, but once it's done, it's going to give you this URL. This means Stable Diffusion is already running in your browser. All you have to do is copy this URL and paste it into your browser's address bar. So I'm going to paste it into my Chrome browser and pretty much this is how you install Stable Diffusion locally on your Windows PC computer.